data mining classes module 1 second class in this video we are going to discuss about a multi dimensional model concept in data mining multi dimensional model views data in the form of a data cube if you are viewing a data set in the form of a data cube with multi dimensions then we can say that it is a multi dimensional model a data cube enables data to be modeled and viewed in multiple dimensions. It is defined by dimensions and facts. Through this multidimensional model, we can model or view the data with multiple dimensions. In normal database, we are maximum two dimensions are the like one row and column. But in multidimensional model, we can add more dimensions to our data view so it is defined by dimensions and facts so what is dimensions and what is facts all are tables like our database management system let's understand a fact in data warehouse describes quantitative transactional data like measurements metrics or the value ready for analysis like this include header numbers, order numbers, ticket numbers, transaction number, transaction currency, etc. The fact table actually it is the center of our data warehouse. So in that all the quantitative transactions data are there in the fact table that, that we can measure, that we can identify as a correct discrete number. Then such type of tables we can call it as fact. Okay. So then the what is dimensions table? Dimension tables categorize and describe data warehouse facts and measures in ways that support meaningful answers to business questions. In fact table only quantitative data are there. So the description of such data are contains in the dimension table in a multidimensional model. With the help of an example, you can easily understand the concept. Let's see this model. So this is a database concept. In this, lots of tables are the like orders, stores, products, dates and customers. See, in this orders tables, in this table, see all type of IDs are there. See, customer ID, product ID, store ID, date ID, some another quantity amount such details are there in the orders table so this is the fact table for this multi-dimensional concept or this data warehouse so this the description of this all ids all foreign keys are there in the dimension table so this is our dimension table okay so this is the fact table and this is the dimension table. So the customer details are there in the customer dimension table. Product details are there in the products table. Store details are there in the store dimension table. Date details are there in the date dimension table. These are the normal values like quantity and amount. So this is the center of the server concept. So this is our fact table and all are our dimension table. So, with the help of the fact and dimension table, a multi-dimensional model is looking like, okay. So, see, when we are going to a normal table, it is look like this, is it? ID, name, class. So, each ID, there is details for name and class. So, the name of the ID 1 is John Dio and the class of the ID 1 is 4. Two-way concept is that, two-dimensional concept is that, that is our normal database concept. When data is grouped or combined in multi-dimensional matrices, then it is called data cubes. We are adding more dimensions and we can view it as a data cubes. So, multi-dimensional models are following such type of data cubes. Okay. So the data cube methods has a few alternative names like we can say the data cube as a multidimensional database, materialized views or a lab, online analytical processing. So the normal databases are for online transaction processing. See, online transaction processing. So current transactions are we are dealing with our 
normal operational database but for data warehouse we are storing data for analysis purpose is it so the data warehouse or data mining is for online analytical processing so for online analytical processor we are preferred data cubes more than like our data tables in our database management system so let's go to how a data cubes are looks like see how a data cubes are formed for our data warehouse concept so these are the normal values just look at this table for each item see lots of items are the like egg milk bread and biscuit so the sale of this all items in a quarterly term like quarter one quarter the sale of this all items are listed based on the quarterly sales okay q1 first quarter of the year second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter that is the time so two dimensions are there like now in our normal database that is items are listed according to our time when we are adding to the more dimension like the location also the same item in the location chennai and the kolkata mumbai and delhi so we are adding more dimensions that is the 3d dimensions just imagine that these are the this see this four piece of paper we are making it as a cube see that is our data cube so in this data cube more than two dimensions are there see the time is there item is there and the location is there so when we are looking at this particular number 260 it determines three dimensions that is it is the sale of the item egg in quarterly one location as delhi okay so when we are making data cubes it is very easy to analyze or view the data set for our analysis purpose clear so that is our data cube see this is the enlarged picture of a data cube so in this example we are our dimensions are like products products are vcr pc tv like that three products are the quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 and quarter 4 we are also adding one more variables like sum of this all sales okay and the countries like india nepal china and the sum also so when we are just picking this portion of our data cube it determines the sum of all the products tv pc and vcr of quarterly one in the country india okay like that we can easily identify the summary of our data sets when we are viewing the data set as a data cube okay so this is our two. so this is the another example for understanding the data cube concept so this is our 2d view of sales of some data quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 and this is quarter 4 okay so this is a home entertainment computer phone security these are the items this is the sales of the location vancouver okay so this is the only 2d view when we are adding the details of other locations also like new york chicago toronto so this, this will become three dimensional data cube concept that is we can say it as a three dimensional cuboid okay that is 3d data cube see so this is the same like the before this is the example of a data cube of all the items like home entertainment computer phone and security in quarter wise quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 and quarter 4 and the location is also the okay 854 number is is the sale of the product home entertainment in the quarterly one at the location of chicago okay that is the that is the 3d data cube when we are adding more dimensions it will become 4d cuboid so 4d cuboid means the same data cubes same data cube but we are adding one more dimension sub layer sub layer 1 sub layer 2 and sub layer 
just imagine that we are looking looking about these data cubes all data cubes are arranged in a row fashion so here with this data cube we can identify four things four dimensions like location time item and also the supplier so this is the data set for the supplier one and this is for supplier 2 and this is for supplier 3. So this concept is we are called as 4D cuboid. When we are adding 4 dimensions into our data cube then it is called it as a 4D cuboid. So that is a concept of multidimensional view or multidimensional model of data warehouse. Hope it is clear. Thank you.